Hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. It's your girl Nenya John over here. And in today's video, I'll be showing you quickly how you can bead, hand bead your illusion net. A lot of you can bead on a proper fabric, but you do not know how to bead on a transparent net. So that's what this video will be solving, okay? So you need your fishing line, this transparent plastic thread. You need your beading needle. It has different sizes. You have the size 9, you have size 10, you have size 11, you have size 12. The higher the size, the, the tinier the needle. So I'm making use of size 11, okay? It's tiny, but it can allow this plastic thread to pass through it. Also, the fishing line has different sizes, so you may want to go for the most tiny. This one I'm using is quite bold. So I'll be using a piece of net to show you how to start the beading process because I did not start um, on camera. It was while I was making the dress, I just decided to show you guys how to bead. You can see how the bead is sitting pretty on that illusion net. So I'll be showing you on the piece of net I have here. All right, see how beautiful it is. Now, for starters, pass your fish line, the thread into the needle. So one thing with this thread is that it is round. So you may want to mash it with your teeth to make it flat. As opposed to the usual pass your thread, double it, this one you will not double it just pass it through the eye of the needle and stop halfway very close to the needle okay it's going to be a single thread not double you can see how mine is right i just pass it through the needle and stopped right there now once we've done that the next thing you get your net or your fabric and let me show you how you can hook this you won't be tying it like the normal needle Okay, so when you pass the needle through your net, make sure you let some um, remaining thread at the hem, just like you see me have done. I did not pass all the thread out and I did not tie it as well. So once you've done that, the next thing you want to do is now is to pass the thread a second time and then you make a knot. Now you're going to pass the needle, make a knot, Repeat it until the thread is tight on the fabric, okay? You're going to make sure it is tight before you can now add your bead. Now, I'm doing it for the third time. I'll pass my needle, drag it out, and knot it. By knotting, I mean that you should pass the needle through the one of the holes that will be created. Yes, just pass it through that hole, and then there, that's the knot okay make sure it is firm you can do this as much as possible to make sure that your thread is firm now when i've done this i'll now go and cut that extra one i left which helped me to knot the thread and i've cut it out so this is how neat it is now you go in with your bead make sure you use your bead to cover that knot you've made Something in me just keeps me telling me, tie this thing again, tie this thing again. So I went ahead and knotted it for the fourth time. So this is simply what you have to do. And your thread will be tied. Try dragging it to see if it will cut. If it doesn't cut, then you know that you've done a good job. Now we're going to pass the bead to cover that knot you made. Make sure the bead covers it up. Yeah, the goal is to confuse people. <laughs> To make them think the bead is on your skin so all right so the first goal has been achieved which is to cover the knot the next is to pass your needle and add your bead okay usually you have to draw the pattern which you want the bead to follow i'm just doing this randomly because i'm just showing you how to bead aside from knotting it every other process is the same keep passing your needle under the net or the fabric and keep adding the bead continue that process till you've covered the pattern lines you've drawn remember i'm just doing something random just to show you how to go about it now i'll show you how to tight it by the time you're done beading how to secure it i'll show you that and this video is done you can actually see that the net is actually stressing me out because it's refusing to stay firm if it was sewn already then it would have been easier okay if it's on a mannequin or 
yeah, or a sewn dress. So beating the net ordinary like this is not so easy because it is very feeble, okay? So um, make sure you've sewn your dress before you can now start adding the beading. It's much more easier. And while you're passing the bead, keep stretching it because you don't want your net to be gathering the way you're seeing on the screen. You can see that the one I actually sewn, the main dress, nothing like this happened so this is simply because the net is on its own and it's too light okay but if you're doing this on it but on an actual dress it will be very firm now this is what i mean when i say it's easier to beat when the dress is actually made you can see how firm it is so all i had to do was just to pass my bead pass the needle under the net add beads you can see the process right so this is basically what i was showing you earlier on that piece of net so if you do not understand that one clearly i think this should be clearer so you can see how easy it is to pass the net and trust me if you do it this way you're going to get a very nice result now i'll go back to that piece of net to show you how to secure your thread after beading Yeah, this is me stretching out the net because it kept on gathering and i've already explained the reason why so i finished passing the beads now i want to secure the thread okay now pass the needle to the back of the net okay you're going to pass it to the back of the net and you're going to do the same thing you did when you wanted to start you pass the needle create the channel and then make a knot Repeat the same process over two or three times. Then drag the thread very firmly to be sure that it is tight enough. Once you have affirmed that it is tight, you can now cut out. And there you have secured your bead. So I recommend that you use a fishing line for your lay flat beading. It is stronger. According to me, from my experience, it is stronger and um, of course, there are times where you need to use the ordinary thread for beading, especially if you want to get a dangling effect. But if it's a lay flat beading, then the fishing line does a nice job. And when you knot it properly, it can really last long. It is very difficult to break, okay? And that thing is, when you're making your knot, make sure it is under a bead, like let a bead cover it so that it doesn't show, the knot doesn't show through the front of your net. I hope this video was helpful. Give this video a like, subscribe to this channel, and um, let me know what you think about this video in the comment section. Till my next video, guys. Bye. Look at how pretty this beading looks. <laughs> Bye, guys.